And here we are at Chapter 2, Breaking and Entering, Part 1, because this is a rather long chapter. You sure you know where you're the thing going? that sucks about this chapter no, no is, ways. you have to be completely stealthy, well, mostly. Don't you love the way the water makes you like, getting seen from far away, and they will call an alarm, and you will fail. I go get a game over basically. It's like in the original Splinter Cells. The original and Pandora Tomorrow, and this was thankfully fixed in Chaos Fury. Which is kind of overrated. Anyway. You're gonna be working with a co op partner. Oh wait. With this guy, Harry Flynn. You must have made a wrong turn somewhere. Hey. Who's kind of a moron. You're gonna see why in a few seconds. And from there. We're in. Yeah, in like Flynn, right? What? In like Flynn. I don't get it. See? Just give me a boost. I'm not totally sure, but it's probably a rhyme or something. Just go up here. Here it comes. And climb your way Thanks. up. Not really a lot to this very first part. Almost there. You ready? You might. You probably have guessed right. But you have no gun at this point. You'll get one basically by the end of this par in a cutscene. Yeah. Fuck. Go over here and hold down triangle. Wait for him to get his ass over here. Oh, and I forgot to mention, you are going to hate Flynn by the end of this chapter. I'm not going to spoil anything yet, yeah, but you're going to hate him. You. you might like him now, but you're going to hate him. All right. This is the way and... Well, Nothing happens if you way. touch the steam well, over there. You won't get hurt or anything. Gotta be a shut You'll just, like, trigger Like, Neil would stick his hand and go like, ah! And then he'll and then he'll call and then Harry will call him Daff or something. He, I I'm, I'm almost sure he's a British person. Brits are hilarious. No offense to you British people, of course. Shimmy over here. Take your time, of course. And in a few moments, you're gonna begin the stealth action. Okay. Yeah, there is not a whole lot I can say on this part. It's just basic crap. Tell me you didn't miss this. Yeah. Yeah, they're they've been partnered. I'm assuming they have a history together. It's locked. Good job I came prepared. I pick more than my nose, my friend. Wait. There's an alarm. Oh, that's new since last time. I'm assuming with that they've actually now what? stolen from from this museum before, of course. It's gotta be around here somewhere. And here's a bit of a pointless detour. Look for the power trees box over here. Press triangle. And now the stealth will begin. And right. About now. With more somewhat pointless bullcrap tutor aisles. Sony la with Vegas lagging, of course. And I don't know how that knocked out person's just like, pow! He hits his back. That, in my opinion, should not be able to yeah, knock out a person. Yeah. Then again, I kind of figured this series is not going to make any sense by the time I got to the 16th chapter of the original game. Okay. And another pointless... This tutorial is particularly pointless. You can't get out... You can't move away from this. The little... garden thing. 
until you knock this bag down. We've got to get up to that balcony. We can climb the gate over here. Got it. Follow the leader. Follow Harry Flynn. This hero is not as hard for us because you've not been introduced to the someone we worked combat system. You have to be a bit faster, or else they can pull an alarm on you. This happened. That happened to me in my first few times. Just beat the crap out of them, and you're good. They have a plan. Take the left, and Harry will take the right. And I decided not to take that guy out selfly for whatever reason. You might want to. I think you should probably wait a bit. I'm not sure what happens if you don't want a guy still talking. And I probably could have taken that guy out stealthily because of how bad the guy is. I'm sure that they will not fight back if you stealth attack them. It's not until the next chapter where they introduce the whole system of countering. Okay. We should be able to lift this up. Oh wait. Whoa. Whoa. Another What's fucking up? alarm. There's another alarm. Oh, great. As you can tell I probably think these alarms are kind of pointless. Wait here. It's just like a few extra seconds of pointless detour crap. And of course Harry is an asshole and won't do crap. I don't think um, you take that. You can take that guy out. Like you won't get up to his level. It's off. I'm not sure. Right. One, two, three. Go. You got it. Yeah. You're gonna find out what's in his bag very soon, Hurry. and you're gonna like him for that. And again, you're gonna hate him for that okay, okay. at the end of the chapter. Yeah. Next perk can be a bit tricky, like with the uh, like with the hand-to-hand -hand combat thing that happened before. You need to be a bit. You might want to okay, jump down here, wait for that guy to move, and turn around, and then stealth attack this guy. Jump into the fountain, slide around with it, and take him out. I don't think it matters if you do it this way. I just prefer doing it, of course. Goddamn camera angles. And for the sake of it, there was a treasure in there, but of course I collected them all. Around here, I don't think it matters if or if not you hide there. I don't think so. I don't understand how that knocks out a person. I don't realize it as, as the original was. This still makes it still makes no sense. No, definitely not that window, the one that's open. Alright, you're just about done with this part. There's just gonna be a cutscene. Damn it. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next part. Now what? It's time to tip the odds back in our favor. Oh, that's brilliant. Guns? What are you thinking? Relax, Gandhi. They're tranquilizer guns. Totally non-lethal. Your conscience will remain unscathed. Oh, well, good idea. Great. Okay, a little bit of advice. These things have lousy range, so we still have to get in close. You okay with that? I know how to shoot a gun, genius. All right.